Hello and welcome to Water Cooler. Happy May, everybody. Yeah, that's right. It's May 1st, 2020. And this is the show where I, Chris Loxamana, hang out with my Corolla digital dudes, drink some stuff, think some stuff. And of course, we stink some stuff. And it's right. getting mad stanky in here. It's Friday. Ugh. With me today is Kalen Bean. What's going on? No, nope, that's not stinky enough. Oh, with me today is Kalen Bean. Uh, you want me to do it again? Yes, yes, I would. What's going on? Ugh. Oh, that's <laughs> gross. Oh, also, with me today, Gary Smith. What's up? Oh, that's disgusting. Uh-huh. Matt Fondelier's here. Uh-huh. Hey, brother. Gross, man. And Mike Dawson. That's right. Blech. All right, thanks so much for uh, tuning in for our second show. That means it's show and tell time today on the water cooler. And we're always kicking it Philly style. Gary. Yeah. In the news today, what the F is going on in Huntington Beach right now? Are Uh, you seeing that? Is that not giving you anxiety? Are you not seeing that? How could you not see that? It's been on every goddamn channel. It uh, is. (laughs) Uh, the reason I asked Gary is because uh, Gary and I, I mean, Hun- Huntington Beach, is, we grew up, it was, it was a, a stone's throw away from where we grew up. So it, it's pretty crazy how uh, much of an impact Huntington Beach is making on the world right now. Uh, and it's, uh, I, I was thinking if I was driving down PCH right now, I would, I would hit that button that turns the AC just internally, thinking that that would help. Because, uh, yeah, it's just, it's, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, no, I feel I, like I'm missing something. What the fuck are you guys talking about? They're out on the streets in mass and protest and and mass. Oh, I thought they just opened the beaches. No, it's like hundreds of people are. No, there's there's thousands of people. Thousands. Here I'll uh, show you. A video. I saw a vi- I, there's a video. It looks like a couple thousand people from the aerial shot that I saw. Oh, wow! Holy this is what's going on. In honey- Have you seen a? This is a current crowd. This is not a throwback Thursday. Or flashback Good. Friday. This is happening oh now. Oh my god! <laughs> They're all protesting. Wow. Gavin Newsom shutting down the beach, or all the all the beaches in Orange County. Stupid people saying it that, it's, that it's that it's so, more important that they're saying. I guess fun at the beach is more important than human lives. Shut the fuck up. It's called fucking freedom. And this this it's I I have a weakened immune system. I have zero spleen. But I learned how to fucking take care of myself and not get sick. Yeah. So now everyone just has to fucking learn how to take care of themselves and not get sick and everything will be fucking fine. Yeah. This is a straight Uh, up hold my beer to the Florida spring breakers. I have a kind of an honest question here because this is now the second time that something similar has happened to me here. Were we, was there not also a link that went viral not that long ago? about Huntington Beach, but about how all of the algae is turning all the waves blue. And now when the waves crash, they like glow in the dark blue and there's like glow in the dark dolphins. Have you guys seen that? And am I crazy? No, that's natural. No. That's natural. Yeah. That was, that's that not was just anything to panic sense. about. That's, that's a natural. No, I get it. By the way, no one saying. was shaking their head there. Wow. So, okay. So nobody else has seen those videos knows what I'm talking oh, Everyone about. was nodding, but you incorrectly, once again, are confusing <laughs> okay. our audience with the difference between nodding your head and shaking your head. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> is that but still is, a thing? We're still messing that up? I, I don't know, man. I thought that was your You thing. and Matt are. <laughs> I was going to say, now you're confusing us further because Chris is the one who has that problem. I just that's, made an honest mistake. Yeah. But here's what I'm saying. We started the show. I have no idea what the fart you guys are talking about other than, have you guys seen that the impact that Huntington Beach is having on the world right now. And I'm thinking, why do we care about the blue dolphins, the, the glow-in-the-dark dolphins? Man, these... <laughs> and then I realized oh, man, that this is like it. a huge event that I had absolutely no idea this was happening. Oh, that was yeah, no. a very Alien confusing dolphins. exchange. Yep. That's oh, so funny. <laughs> I, now, I, now I wish I could just see Matt's internal monologue. Like, those glow-in-the-dark dolphins. Everybody's talking about them now. All right, so I had a... I, had I don't know about glow in the happen. dark dolphins. <laughs> okay, maybe, I'm serious. Maybe there's dolphins. a re. Okay, I'd, I'll have. I would love to see that. I believe, I, dolphins. I believe. I will find that. Okay, I will find yeah. that video. Um, I love. Zoom. Similarly, there was uh, a a popular hashtag called PizzaGate. Are you guys familiar with this at all? PizzaGate. It's like PizzaGate. Okay, so 
I had no idea what this was, but it's like a crazy conspiracy, like pedophilia, like crazy thing. But this, I had the, no idea that that was what it was. And around that same time, oh, this is the Golden Dark Dolphins. All right. I'll finish the pizza game story in a second. Wait. It's all going to come full circle here. Okay. I hope right. so. Because the, the, the way you the set Dolphins, it up Dawson. has me worried. Dawson. Wait. That's I don't think the dolphins are glowing in the dark. The way they are cutting through the water is causing the reaction. The no, dolphins I think, I think those are not glowing. You're correct. Okay. I, I, no, Semantics actually, Dawson, here. you're incorrect. Okay. See, there's a nuclear plant around there, too. And I heard it just had a big spill, and the dolphins ate some of it. And now they're glowing in the dark and can speak English. Fearmonger. Fearmonger. What was that, Galen? Then they're rapidly growing in size too. They're, yeah, they're getting very yeah. they're getting smarter. <laughs> and yeah. L Cool J is gonna have to come and help us. It has everything to do with the UFOs that were sighted. They're communicating. Oh, with see that's dolphins. that's and what we saw these dolphins take over. Yeah, so the, the Pentagon decided to release the UFO footage. So we look up to the sky and not into our own oceans where we're breeding the, the most intelligent, super-powered dolphins that anybody could have oh ever Oh, my God, imagined. we lost Gary. They just got Gary. He just Gary's dropped Gary the disappeared. Gary's camera just cut oh off. Oh, God. I don't know if they're going to let us air this episode, man. Yeah. This is some I'm sitting here. Going on here. That, the water cooler. This is a place where we tell the truth. We speak the truth, and we want everybody and to we know. We stink the truth. We stink the truth. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we want everybody to know what's going on. Uh. That's why right, Jones so... sounds like that because he's it's stinky in there. Uh. Or at least Howard Stern's version. Let, let me bring this back, if I may. Oh, Gary's back. Oh, thank God. Sure. Ooh, scared me. Well, so scared. much, much like my confusion of the Huntington Beach, uh, we'll call them the riots as opposed to the uh, the glowing dolphins. There is this thing called Pizzagate, and again, the truth is that it's like a crazy like pedophilia thing that you, yeah, they you read into it. They it will. Thought- People were molesting kids in the back of a certain pizza shop in Washington, D.C., right? Okay. Something like what? that. They're using code That's... words like we it's, need to it's go get all, pizza. It's, I, hold on. Total, it's like outlandish conspiracy, but yes. the media fucking runs with it because crazy people sell news. Right. So, But I don't follow too many different news sources. That's sources. very apparent. Yeah. So I, I keep seeing this thing called Pizzagate, but around the same time, there's a video – of a New York subway rat carrying a piece of pizza. And that video went viral around that same time. They called it, I think, the pizza rat. rat. I don't know. I, pizza I, rat. Kept seeing, I kept seeing Pizzagate and all this stuff about Pizzagate. And I'm like, why is everyone freaking out about a rat and a slice of pizza? And it's not until much later that I discovered <laughs> I was just completely off. Yeah. Like I just, I need to really read the news. I yeah, think. your your and tweet didn't Dolphins age well blow. when you type that. <laughs> Seriously, I know. I, I could just see oh. Matt looking at a hashtag pizza game, and just thinking, oh, a Shay and a Tech Talk in one. <laughs> wow, I'm gonna have to go hand in hand with Gary. Gary, we need to get on this Pizza Gate thing. Oh, Gary, feverishly anyway. nodding his head, no. Wow, the show is taking a really dark turn, but. Wow, I didn't man. realize I didn't realize what was happening in Huntington no. Beach. I'm glad. Well, I'm glad you brought up PizzaGate. God, that yeah. sounds awful. That sounds horrible. <laughs> it, it is. It reminds it me really of that is. that one thing. By the way, it? please, please, if you're listening to this and you've never heard of that before, do not repeat anything you just heard because it was about the weakest interpretation of the actual story in the history of the world. So don't go to a cocktail party and <laughs> retell anything Matt just said because that was, that was so, so bad. I mean, I, we got somewhere to it. I'm glad we're done. Yeah, yeah we're done. Nice. <laughs> oh, that's great. I'm telling you, man, that fucking that rat. Eating the pizza man, yeah. you gotta be careful. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Wow, guys, uh, show and tell. Anyone, uh, <laughs> Galen, can you flick something, please? Hard left turn, hard left turn. <laughs> no. Yeah, that was the worst Shea Fondelay ever, Matt. No, that then that's what's on the menu. <laughs> so, Matt, did you like that restaurant or what? Oh, yeah, it was very flickable. <laughs> oh. No, no, don't throw flicking the bean in there, too. Can you get to the note corner, please. <laughs> Oh. oh yeah, I'm all I'm loopy Listen, now. Listen, man, this is the show. We talk about anything and everything, right? That's right. And sometimes we get controversial. 
Yeah. Yeah. And we chill Philly style, and apparently that's how you do it. Oh, we yep. kick it Philly style. Don't oh, that's Philly right. Style. Yeah. Shit. I've been right. chilling this whole time. Well, your team moist. Why wouldn't you be? Okay. Well, I'm, I mean, should I be kicking it? Start kicking it. All right, I'm kicking it now. I uh, I did. A, I'm gonna uh, shift gears from chill <laughs> to kicking it. Did you see? I saw it. It just, it just wow. happened. Night and day. Just Night happened. and day. I so did a. Uh, I did an Instagram live uh, acoustic set last night, or a uh, or social Facebook live. I did all the stuff, but a Got lot of requests cool. for channels. Which uh, which is really nice. <laughs> really, so great. That's amazing. Yeah. So, so thanks to all the listeners who uh, <laughs> came out and watched the show and, and submitted that request. I didn't play it because oh, I am still memorizing the la- the lyrics. You got it. You want it more, man? Oh, so good. That's incredible. Chris, you, you got your socials up on the screen now too. It's looking professional. I like it. Yeah, yeah. I gotta oh, cool. I put some text on there too, just so people can watch it. If you're if you're not watching it on Facebook, then uh, you can watch it on Instagram. And I, I said I, I'm trying to be like Coachella, where I'm playing on all the stages at once. And that's uh, good. That's yeah. just good science. Yeah, good science. All right, Kalen, you said you have a flick in the bean, so we'll do some flicking, and then we'll get into our uh, show and tell. Oh, before we get into flicking, excuse me, Kalen, I'll, 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 uh, I'll uh, we'll tease that trivia night, water cooler trivia night. We're doing it, and it's going. Ooh. So. <laughs> I think it's done through Zoom, right? Yep. Yes. Yeah, so everybody gets Zoom. I'm sure you you have it by now. And uh, we're going to tweet out the link or put it on Facebook, Instagram, all the social media. Just hit us up on social. Or you can email me at cloxamanamusic at gmail.com if you want in. And it will be Monday night, uh, 7 p.m. Pacific. So I know it's late for you East Coasters, but – uh, as we mentioned, uh, we, we talked about it off air and Gary said to the East coasters that what? if it's too late what? for them, what should, what, what was the quote? Well, go ahead, Chris. I don't know what you're talking about. They should stop being biatches. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that was the quote. Um, so yeah, I know it's late, but we're, and we're going to be doing this more often, but the first one, the first water cooler trivia night that we're doing while we're in quarantine is going to be this Monday, May Fourth, fourth, May fourth. Oh, it's it's a it's a big Star Wars day, Single and it it will be at seven Single p.m. Quarter. Pacific. We will give you guys the link. Come and join us. We'll figure out teams. We'll play. We'll have drinks together. So we are doing teams. I don't know. I think the first time around we don't do teams. Okay, or we won't do teams. Either way, we're gonna hang. We're gonna hang. Right. We're gonna talk. Okay. We're gonna have drinks together, and we'll enjoy it. It won't. It's not gonna be for podcasts. It's just a virtual hang and we're all going to be oh so so. this will not be aired in any capacity people will not be able to hear unless they are there it's exclusive very exclusive yes so uh if you guys want to come it'll be fun you know bring your uh family members into it'll be family friendly not a lot of swearing maybe i don't know who knows we just pizza gate came up so who knows what's going to happen yeah god matt are we going to get back to the news nook later with matt (laughs) <laughs> the news nook. Ooh, the oh, news nook. Man. With Matt. God, if people start coming to Matt for oh. news after after those two stories. <laughs> That's great. I kind of liked it though. It was, it was refreshing. You know, yeah. It was a refreshing take. It didn't seem biased. It didn't seem anything. It, it was, was just, not biased. Yeah, Definitely it, not researched. <laughs> yeah, no, nope. Also not researched or accurate that's but, what you like, want in your news not not biased mm-hmm. not researched just off the cuff and then, all conjecture <laughs> and rumor and then that's connecting, the, you know animals like rabid animals with pedophilia rings like that's really yeah. what you want for your news. matt your tagline you heard of, yes please. tagline facts don't mean shit here yeah pretty good the pretty news good. nook with Matt the Fondelier, your source for off the cuff news Forget facts don't facts. mean shit it's here all <laughs> conjecture Okay, I like this. Yeah. Someone has to email me that so that I remember. When news breaks, we (laughs) won't won't be watching it. (laughs) When news breaks, three years later, I'll connect it with something else on a podcast that's not about. (laughs) Be very confused. (laughs) Radioactive dolphins. (laughs) Today. All right, Kaylin, let's get some flicking in. Oh, God. All right, this week I will be flicking uh, the mini series Waco. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna have to pump my ears because I watched the I watched the up to episode three. 
Wow, this is awesome, Kaylin, because Waco came out right around the time Pizzagate broke. <laughs> <laughs> what year is it right now? And um, yeah, make sure you don't give any spoilers to Chris for a news event that happened 20 years ago. <laughs> Well, Doss, not only the news event, okay. but the show, I understand, is new, newly on Netflix, but it aired on, I believe, AMC. It was. Paramount, yeah, I think. Year, yeah. Paramount, two years ago. And I 2018. Right. It's a 2018 right. show. And yes, it is based on a tr- an, an actual event, <laughs> which, uh, which I, I heard from Matt, so I'm pretty sure I know what happened. Yeah. But go ahead. Right. Exactly. He was talking about this earlier. News Nook, it's real. Let's just say this is Matt. Do you want to cover Waco real quick? Before I yeah, why don't you cover the actual story real quick, and then we'll get oh, what happened, man. dude? <laughs> Kill us in. Oh man! Well, I heard that there was an explosion at the Eggo Waffle Factory. Oh, wow! That is how it all began. Now, Matt, and ever should... since then, yes. You yeah, should... it's funnier if you just actually try to tell the story. <laughs> no, I like that. Thanks but anyway, for giving me tips on how to do my bit stuff. I'm not. I'm not, Matt. I'm letting you. I'm letting you go. But I want to anyway, hear. I want to hear what Kalen has to say. I do too, Kalen. What do we got? We're the bean right now, man. You are correct. This happened a while ago. Um, it did premiere on Paramount Network in 2018. Just showed up on Netflix. Kalen. Yeah. Um, I I know I said I liked the way your your laptop mic sounded, and uh. I know uh, for, this, for those listening that he does, he's not using his AirPods, so he's using his laptop mic, and he was worried about it, and I said it sounds fine. But now I think and it's it a little doesn't. soft, so I'm, I'm going to need you to, uh, to project. You got her? All right, let's take my gum out. Yeah, take oh. the gum out. Oh, broadcasting what a, what a professional. podcasting professional. Yeah. <laughs> he can come during a podcast. What a pro. <laughs> this has come up many times before, Kalen. <laughs> it's all right. It's fine. No yeah, let me take um, my lollipop out. Anyone who's enjoying Kalen being abused, listen to tomorrow's Ace on the House. Oh, oh yeah, seriously. Oh, oh that's no. a good follow up. Oh, did, did it have uh, to do with the uh, kitchen yeah. cabinet? <laughs> yeah. Oh no, AC the, thing. the AC the thing. AC thing. Oh, what they say? Oh, oh you have to tune nice. in. You have to tune into uh, East on the House tomorrow if you want to hear oh, it. I can't wait. Don't go Let's just say there's hey, a lot of confusion. Up, Kaylin, a lot of confusion. Not, Kaylin, kindly do not tell people not to listen to one of our products. It's kind yeah, of what we make our money. Skip. You can skip and listen to every other week. How about that? <laughs> Just oh. skip that episode, listen to another episode twice, and yeah. it'll balance out. Uh, Kaylin gets ravaged. I, that's why he does not want you to hear oh, it. Oh, no. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's I thought something. it would be funny. It got mean. It yeah, got mean. mean. I, I, oh, apologize. I don't want to hear that. I apologize. We love I will you, not Kaylin. be listening. We love you. We love you. Um, yeah, and it has actually left me it left me without air conditioning for. Oh, <laughs> I just the whole thing apart, and like I was like, oh, I'm not gonna be able to put this back together, and I couldn't. Yeah, yesterday was a hot day in my apartment. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> Are you guys, oh you guys suck. Gary yeah. saw. <laughs> Gary saw all this coming. He set it up. Yeah, Ew. that was a trap, Kalen. That was a trap, oh, and you fell it. for it. Oh, I right. can't blame Gary. Actually, I'm gonna take it. I take that back. Good job, Gary. That's a sweet move. That's producing, baby. <laughs> that was a bear trap, Kalen. <laughs> uh, but anyway, Waco. Okay, Waco is a uh, a standoff that happened in 1993 oh, sorry, um, between police and like a religious cult. And I, like Chris, and I think Matt too, really didn't know anything about it. Um, where did I, this happen? Says you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where 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 did this happen? Waco, Texas. Oh. At, at some egg, ego. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Legos. <laughs> at a Lego plant in Texas. Um, so, yeah, this is a six part mini series. Um, it stars Michael Shannon, Taylor Kitsch, um, Shea Wingham, who you probably don't know his name, but you'll recognize his face. That's right. Uh, John Leguizamo is in it. So uh, good. Paul Sparks. It's a really good cast. Um, it's it's Ruth really from funny. Ozark is in it. How come you don't mention that Ruth is in it? <laughs> Ruth well, from also, Ozark. the McCalkin brother. He's yeah, the youngest one. Oh. Rory's in it too. Rory. You don't even mention us. Yeah. Stop. Uh, um, no. It's yeah, like I said, it's only six episodes, so it's a really nice, tight, like little mini series, and it just flies by. I like I binged it, and I only had night time to watch it, and within two nights. Uh, I was on like the 
uh, midway through episode three, and I had to just go all the way to the end. Um, like I said, I had no idea how it would end, so it was very surprising. Uh, it's really entertaining. It's really well done. Um, the one problem that I had with it is there's one character in specific that is like really over the top and completely unbelievable and kind of influences like another character in it and it kind of threw me off a little bit but uh yeah I'm, I'm disappointed that I waited so long to watch it uh, especially if you don't know um if you're like me and Chris and Matt and don't know how this story ends I do and know how the story ends it's a really good perspective on Dawson was telling me like he was in high school when this whole thing was going on and he watched it and apparently had just the wrong narrative about it when he was watching. So he said he was very surprised that. Yeah, the, no, the government fucking lied. Yeah. Straight up fucking lied to everybody. They don't the tell FBI anybody lied. about the Ego factory, man. <laughs> right. Oh, no, dude. It's, bullshit. And I think, I think that's, that's <laughs> part of the reason why it's catching on so much on Netflix right now is it's. Yeah, uh, Truth it's, is out it's there. It's disturbing. Yeah, it, it is very disturbing how blatantly they seem to lie and, and, and cover up a lot of things. Um, but yeah, I, I re highly recommend it if you haven't watched it. Definitely clickable, 8.6 out of 10. Wow, nice. okay. Ah. I do enjoy it too. I think it's really good. I find that uh, I like that guy who played uh, Koresh, who's playing Koresh. Taylor Kitsch. Taylor Kitsch, he's really good. And I mean, yeah, Michael Shannon. Always His great. band in the TV show <laughs> is a lot better than his band in real life <laughs> his band was actually good but then i'm watching him play uh, here comes the bride uh on a guitar I'm like he's not really playing that and uh they played uh my sharona i, I dug it when they played i still believe <laughs> in that one part yeah i do i do like and that I was like, and that's when i that's when i was like okay thanks fucking hollywood yeah uh, but i guess that really happened there's a which is totally interesting yeah there's a, uh, I mean, one thing during a lot of the scenes, there's a lot of uh, half stacks and Marshall half stacks and some Gibson a lot of gear. centers behind them. I, I'm always looking at that. That's nice. But I did get some, um, I did get some happiness from this. Every time I watch a movie with uh, my corn queen Jen, she, anytime there's a medical scene, she points at it and goes, "That's not real. That X-ray's backwards. They wouldn't really do that. Um, that." You know, they, uh, but she's just pointing out all the wrong things with any, and it ruins every, every scene. Because I'm usually when yep. a scene is at a hospital, it's very dramatic and you're very into it. And then she just rips the rug right out from under me because she spots an error in their, uh, in the scene. With well, I can't watch CIA movies with Doug. I can't watch military movies with Rob. Right. And I can't watch prison movies with Richard. Mm. And you can't watch radio movies with me. I was just going to say, that's, that brings me to this point. So I've never been able to do that, do that because she's watching all of these, uh, these movies. And there's always a lot of hospital scenes and medical scenes and movies. And I'm just thinking, I wish one day when there's a podcasting producing scene, I'm going to call it out and I'm going to ruin it for her. And the closest thing I got to was in Waco, there is a radio scene. There's a professional broadcaster because Koresh calls a radio station. Not spoiling anything. That actually happens. I, I think so. But anyway, uh, he calls a radio station, and the the guy is wearing his headphones backwards. And I called <laughs> oh, it out, shit, I and I yelled at him, and I pointed at the TV. His headphones are backwards. What kind of pro, pro radio pro is this? I did not notice that. Yeah. Cord was on the right, Mike. No, it wasn't was on looking. the right. <laughs> yeah, no, that's great. <laughs> Ugh. I threw up in my mouth a little just, just thinking about it. But anyway, 8.6, huh? 8.6. Yeah, very it's good. good. All right. That's strong. I feel like I have the same issue when I watch really intense political movies, like if they take place in a newsroom. Yeah, like the one on Pizzagate. Why? Because you don't understand what any of the real stories are? <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> Let us do some show and tell. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, that's good. So, is that and it, oh, I, I can't believe I can't believe they didn't use the uh, "It's gonna be May" line within it. You can't show a picture of Justin Timberlake and not go "It's gonna be May." Oh, that was, I think that's because that meme got so overdone at the beginning ah, of April. I love it, but anyway, uh, yeah, she totally looks like JT every time I look at it. 
or look at her. All was right. that your show and tell? You showed us a meme? No, I was just showing you guys something. Was really cute <laughs> oh, that was you. Show. Okay, I thought Chris yeah. showed it to us. Gary says he has a really good show and tell. Um, yeah. so, oh, that's uh, right. Did I hype it too much? Yeah, I hyped it too much. It's okay. I don't know. I think Dawson will like it. All right. Let's we'll we'll hear it. You want to do it? You want to go first? You want to open it up? Sure. All right. Um, show and tell. I'm realizing that I didn't fully execute my plan and that I was planning to just go ahead and drink out of my flask the entire show and then have it be my show and tell. But oh, in a long an empty day, flask. I didn't really do it, but this is a gift that I got from one Mike Dawson. Oh, nice. Wow. Bliss branded flask. And uh, I found it the other day as I was moving things Good around. Good find. Love this thing. There you go. Come with nice. me from this is probably the third or fourth house that I've, uh, or, you know, apartment, whatever, third or fourth domicile that I've uh, moved it around to. And that was a Christmas gift from Mike Dawson one year. So thank you, Dawson. Yes. You're welcome. Thank you, nice. Dawson. Great <laughs> gift. <laughs> it has logo, Dawson's signature logo, which is a, uh, a silhouette of him holding his, his guitar a little more vertical than not. No, that's me. That's Eddie Money, dude. That's not me. It's a picture of Eddie Money wearing my baseball cap. Is that really not uh, you? Uh, Eddie Money doesn't play guitar. No, oh, that, no, that's a picture of Dawson that really was mean. on a mag that was in a magazine. I've Dawson seen that picture. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. With all these glowing dolphins and PizzaGate, I don't know what to believe anymore. Okay, so yeah, if you man. tell me that that's Eddie Money and I heard yeah. that on at the News Nook for my source for off the cuff news, I would believe it. No facts, no just facts. news. <laughs> 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 I, I do like what well, Gary what do you put in the flask what are you drinking out of a flask you know it's been a long time since I've drank anything out of a flask um usually like a like a whiskey if I'm going flask um oh uh Captain Morgan yeah, Captain Morgan's Captain yeah Morgan was, was probably the jam I but I was drinking that quite a bit last time I uh I used the flask but yeah Captain Morgan is kind of my go-to for a, a hard alcohol if you're going to drink it straight um just in terms of ease of ease of use you can uh you can take a pull off a flask and kind of get that down a little easier than the face you're going to make yeah. vodka or something like that yeah Dawson. Did I, i'm sorry did i tell you guys the time that i got busted bringing a flask into universal studios no oh. i would love to hear i got for a birthday gift a like one of those plastic not like a black plastic one but they kind of almost look like a ziploc bag like a bag flask and didn't really was not designed very well because the thing is like lined with foil like the back of it i think is foil and i had them in my like jacket liner pockets going into a theme park and the thing went off and he's like do you have anything on you and i was like nope <laughs> nope not me and he of course like you know gets the flasks out and he like takes a sniff out of it and he's like you're gonna need to dump that out i'm like okay well <laughs> just kind of like a, and he's like no i really need you to dump it out i'm like oh god damn it all right fine <laughs> dump the entire thing uh, out everyone everyone behind me is like <laughs> it's so embarrassing <laughs> That's lame. who designs yeah. it with like a stupid like foil backing i don't know who designed that no I that is it. stupid i love that terrible. matt you're like you're still trying to be like cool and so you're you're feeling this guy out if he's cool <laughs> yeah exactly i was like i get it you're just doing Dumped your out. job uh... camera got it i'm just gonna put yeah, this empty exactly. flash back in my thing and maybe a fiver in your pocket and i'll be yeah. out of here that was exactly what i intended did not work oh um, Remember that happened to Mikey. He tried to sneak in al my, my the drum. My band tried to sneak in alcohol on the cruise, and he put a dildo. <laughs> this is a great story. He put a dildo in the bag, hoping That's to smart. distract. Smart. <laughs> the, yeah, he said if they see a dildo in there, they're not gonna. They're gonna go. Ew! They're yeah. not gonna go in the bag. And not only did they stop, they took out the dildo. They put it on they a table. It up. Got they the got the. Uh, Got the uh, Listerine, which with the with the green vodka in it, dumped that out. Started taking everything out, and everybody who's going on the cruise, because he was kind of near the front, had to walk by him and just see a dildo, them dumping out stuff, and empty uh, his bag contents just all on the table, and him just looking defeated. Now we've all we've all successfully snuggled stuff through, you know, security before though, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Has anyone? Obviously, I have based on the what I'm about to ask. But has anyone else accidentally smuggled something? Yeah, no. I think Chris has. <clears throat> what do you recall on the cruise? 
I no. accidentally had uh, like a knife um, in my backpack when I flew to Costa Rica and they didn't find it. <laughs> I got to, I got to Costa Rica and back and opened my backpack and I was like, oh, there's like a really big knife that I totally forgot was in here. Wow. Damn. Yeah, now obviously Mike August really does travel with his uh his box cutter. cutter. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's true. The actual weapon that was used in, in, like it's it's wild. Anyway, that's so hard to believe, but it's real. Yeah. All right. Well, that was a that was a wonderful show and tell, Matt and uh, Gary. Gary. I mean Gary. Sorry, God, I was looking at Matt, but I know that's Gary's flask. I want Matt to go next. Is what I'm saying. So Matt, you still have that, dude. <laughs> Nice job. Oh, you know, before you get to that, Dawson, you should, you should make more of those and and sell them or something. Because uh, as far as flasks go, you are kind of the representative for flasks on the Corolla show because of your legendary moment. I saw you see me. Oh yeah, I where you you, you took a nip from the flask <laughs> mid show, and Adam stops the show to comment and talk to you about it, and you're like, "It's Sunday, dude." I saw you see me. I did just gotten back from the mountain. I was in your yeah, cellar. Yeah. <laughs> we, uh, like fucking we were drinking homemade whiskey it was still good i was still i'm like i'm still camping bro <laughs> fuck yeah it was, it's i mean it we've played it on corolla classics many times just because of how many people request it they love it and it is a it is part of your lore you should sell a, a flask and calzone making uh package and beautiful for, for quarantines all right matt what you got well, you know, a lot of people, when they get the mail each day, they get upset because they think they're going to be getting a bill or something like that. But I've told you guys about this thing that's been around for a long time now, where that streaming service, Netflix, will yeah. actually send you DVDs in the mail. And you get these red envelopes, DVD. and you don't know what, what movie it is. I know what's in there. So, you do? Which one? Yeah, COVID. <laughs> okay, sir. well anyway i just got my shipment and i don't know what i'm gonna watch this weekend so i thought uh i thought i'd open it here in front of you guys all right so it's like this this little oh, edge here exciting. so matt's yeah. doing new stories from 2015 and he's doing new <laughs> from 2007 wow now sometimes not... they put like Mad Libs. They put like Mad Libs on the inside of it, so you can uh, you can like have activities. This is not one of them. This is an advertisement, but yeah, because most people get who get that service are seventy. Yeah, are you they fucking shitting Libs. on Mad Libs? How dare you? No, that's an advertisement right. for uh, dentures. Oh hell yes! I'm very excited. My wife is my wife has never seen this movie before. Oh my God! For Starship who aren't Troopers. Oh, That's yeah. what Matt is showing for those listening. Matt just showed Starship Troopers DVD disc one. Yeah, apparently just disc one. I didn't realize. Yeah, apparently it was you only get to watch half of a <laughs> shitty <of> movie. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be good. Oh, wow! Oh, oh my God! Disc is scratched. Oh. Please hold. Did Dawson just say half of a shitty movie? What? Oh, he did, didn't he? I did. Not a Starship wow. Troopers wow. guy, huh? Uh, actually, I've never seen Starship Troopers. <laughs> I think I might have been confusing it with the Starship Troopers Volta two. one. Oh, Battlefield Earth called Battlefield. Battle okay, maybe I was doing that. Completely that is different. a shitty movie. Okay, that one's bad. Okay. Uh, Starship one Troopers bad. is amazing. It's also Queen a nostalgic. Director. I'll come back as a result of the mistake. But Starship Troopers, while possibly a campy movie is not a shitty movie okay yeah probably the first hard r movie i saw in theaters oh god definitely and one of right the earliest age. movie That's theater ours. boobies yeah there are boobies in it i saw it boobies was. i saw impaling i saw um a dude okay. get his brain sucked out the uh i, I i've told kay on this there, there are two things that i cannot watch in movies boobies? one no no i can watch i can watch movies. one <laughs> Broken bones. I can't handle broken bones, like uh, obvious broken bones in movies. And two, I cannot – and this might be in the same category. It kind of is. I can't stand uh, major hand trauma, such as like like missing digits or stuff that happens in this movie. And, uh, yeah, it definitely had that. 
and it's ingrained into my my skull. And I remember having to cover my eyes during the shower scene because I didn't want to upset my uncle because I was so young and I I wanted him to see that I was you know I was a good guy, but definitely had the uh, cracks in the fingers in mm. the watch the uh, the movies that way. And uh, fresh fresh off the presses of the news nook. Don't know if you know this, but the entire movie takes place in an alternate universe that imagines that the Nazis won World War II. And that is fucking real. Look that up. I have a second movie as well. Because you get two of the <laughs> Oh, it could be part two. It could be part two. Caitlin, you got to flick this one. I don't think, it's, I don't one. think it's disc two. I don't think it's disc number two. Disc yeah. two. I don't think I ordered the special features disc. I agree with Chris that Caitlin needs to flick this movie. This one coming is. up or Yeah. yeah. The one coming up. Right, well, let's find out. Ooh, this is, should be interesting. This is a movie that Caitlin's probably never heard of called Mr. Holmes. Great PG, one hour, 49 minutes. Came out a few years ago with Ian McKellen as a very, very old Sherlock Holmes. Like an old, forgetful Sherlock Holmes trying to solve one last crime. Oh, that's cool. Very I'd good. Like to see that. Yeah. Yeah, so you should play that go. for sure, Caitlin. Don't uh, flick you that, Caitlin. Flick you Starship haven't seen it. Troopers, if you want. That was the other one. Flick Starship. Uh, it's definitely flickable. I'll give it a 9.4 out of 10. There you Whoa. go. Good. What did – Starship Troopers got a 9.4 out of 10? Oh, yeah. What did your daughter get? better than his daughter, daughter yeah. It's yeah. Four points better than my daughter. No, four ten. Four. Yeah. Matt, uh, <laughs> you pay, do you pay <laughs> extra to get two discs at a time? Yeah. Not twice as much, though. It's like buy one get one half off, but you don't want a half a disc. Obviously, come on, <laughs> silly. I love it. Well, that was a great show and tell, Matt. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, as for my show and tell, oh, this isn't going to be very good because he doesn't want to go last. No, I never go. I never go last. Do I go last? Give it time. I have. Um, am I out of focus? There we go. You okay. were, yeah. I have this. Uh, cactus <laughs> it's great this is a uh, a cactus that was made by jen <laughs> dawson my corn queen so she's very good at with pottery so she makes the vases and uh vases and and these ring holders you're supposed to put your rings vases on and bosses yeah vases and that's big time, bro some that's are some are fancier huge. than others chris wow. when did you uh when were you given that i was i wasn't given i bought this you bought that from your corn queen Kind of. So she, uh, a store out here in Long Beach called Twig and Willow, bought all of her stuff to sell. Like they wanted to sell for it because she actually has like a small business making pottery and and stuff. So, so she made these, and I was and uh, I was trying to impress her because this is very early on when we were uh, hanging, and I went to a uh, Twig and Willow, and I uh, and I asked for the cactus. Hey, I saw, I heard you have these uh, cactus ring holders. I was hoping to get some, and I bought them all. Wow. And that was my power move. Uh, and now... <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> what I think of your power move. <laughs> yep. And now I, and I still have it. The other one broke. Or the other one's broke, but... There Hold you on go. a second. Hold on a second. How many were there, and how did you break so many? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he bought them all, and then Moving. he bought them so no one else could have them. There were like four He's or five of them there. Baseball with them. They were, they were actually a hot ticket item. Um, cactus, cacti were hot for a while. So I bought four, four or five of them, and then they, they, they broke and moving, or I gave some away as gifts, too. That I don't know if I should have said that last part. That sounds made Good up. Good one. It's a great show and tell. I like it. What do you mean it sounds made up? What sounds made up about that? Yay. Broken moving? Yeah. These things are very fragile. <laughs> moving. They fell off. They no I knock them off stuff. I used to have some on, on top of my monitors. It's all true. All right. No, I don't lie on this show. How dare you? Believe All right, me, Chris. but that's my show and tell is uh, a cactus made by my corn queen, and that's it. Look, it still has a tag on the bottom. All right, still get the old tagger on it. Go ahead, Mike. What do you got? Okay, I showed you guys my hat from the wonderful people uh, out of Detroit. Your English D. The English D. But, but I didn't show you was what also came. Awesome. Do not unbuckle your pants right now. 
What's that? Not unbuckle your pants right now. <laughs> Here's the American right. D. Oh, Ooh. this is totally opposite of what <laughs> we were getting. This is a drawing. Is a drawing of a taco, an avocado, <laughs> and a burrito. Okay. And there's my it's name. Very lovely. Jason. Wow. Jason, you can't see the W. <laughs> That's true. Uh, and inside there is a taco and an avocado. Oh, and wow. Molly series. Now, what I'm, I'm assuming is that in the household where this came from, the kid drew avocados and tacos, and then mom and dad were like, no, kid, it's burritos. It's not tacos, it's burritos. So then <laughs> second picture came out. And I mean, look at that burrito. It's scrumptious. It's beautiful. And they're all people. It's a taco, it's a burrito person. Yeah. Whoa. It's really beautiful. There you go. It's really, really great stuff. And they also sent these. Now, you will know these people. First time they were on a cruise, we took oh, that yeah. picture. Oh, yeah. That's and then people. the second time we were on a cruise, they brought that picture. <laughs> and we took that picture oh. with <laughs> that picture. Dang, looking nice. buff too. That's awesome. And the next time, the next time we take a cruise, they're going to bring this picture, and we will take this picture in another picture. I like that. So like thanks, amazing. guys. You guys are super, 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 super awesome. Yes, um, Ryan and Lisa, thank you very much. Yes, Ryan and Lisa and Dawson, great, great show and tell. All right, lastly, Mr. Bean <laughs> got a two-parter today. Oh, Ooh. so Matt had a two-parter, so you can have a two-parter. Uh, I am, once again, at the studio. I'm not at home, but I did remember to bring something because I'm running out of things at the studio to show. Uh, I've been wanting to get into reading a lot more, you know, reading books, but I don't really have any. I didn't really know what I wanted to read, so I pulled this out. Oh, that's where that oh. went. <laughs> this is a book that Matt lent me maybe like three years ago. More than that, buddy. Way more than that. <laughs> that was before I even lived in Pasadena. That shit was a long time ago. Yeah. And well, say the book, because uh, for the listeners. It's City of Thieves by David Benioff, which now that Game of Thrones has ended, I have, I had a little less, you know, wanting to read that. David Benioff, Benioff is uh, notoriously known as the guy who ruined Game of Thrones. Right. <laughs> um, so Matt, I, no, I love. He's a great writer. Uh, thank you for lending it to me. And yeah, I no problem. Will read it. I am going to read it before I get back. And so I'm going to start reading that. Uh, and actually, I, I look forward to our obviously. conversation in 10 yeah. years. <laughs> That's great. Right. Yeah. So uh, once again, I am in my office. And as Gary was showing us his show and tell, I looked above me on my shelf. Oh! Hey. Hey. Take a sip. I don't even have one of those. Yeah. That's awesome. Good job, guys. Okay, right. Chris, Matt, you guys have to find yours now. Well, yeah. And, I and have a couple places I think tell. it might be. There's a couple places that it might be. My guitar player made those. Kevin. Kevin made those. Oh, nice. That's yeah. a good gift. All right. Well, I think, uh, I think that'll do it for Water Cooler. So uh, thanks again to everybody for listening. We'll get our plugs in in a moment. And I want to remind everybody about Monday, 7 p.m. Pacific. Hit us up on social or email music at gmail.com, and we'll give you the link. And let's hang. Let's have a trivia night, a hang, cocktail night, a whatever night. We'll all kick it Philly style. All right. Let's get our plugs. Doss, what's up with you? Uh, first of all, I want to let you all know that Kim Jong-un is dead. Oh, he yeah. is? Really? Oh, they're not reporting it, but I'm telling you, the dude's dead. Oh. Oh, man. Did you get that from News oh. Nook? <laughs> no. Yes, yeah, yeah. No, this is the uh, this is Noster Dawson. Kim Jong Un is dead. Uh, I think, I think and could be right. I uh, think everybody should. <laughs> yeah, no, I, and and I believe that. Yeah, but for people who are only this is North Korean curious, media. This is North Korean up, media uh, reporting this. A headline that says Kim Jong Un resurfaces. Kim Jong Un is dead. There you go. There you go, man. That's your plug? No, no, no. The plug 
is that y'all should pre-order the audio book on your emotional support animal, Adam's new book. Um, it is fucking hilarious. And um, yours truly is sprinkled all over it. Um, and it's a lot of fun. Like today, we finished it today. We had like 14 pages. He reads the first paragraph and then goes, Dawson, what do you think of this? And then we talked for like 10 minutes. <laughs> And he's like, leave that in the book. So there's a whole <laughs> bunch of stuff like that. And um, it's a lot of fun. And I was not lying when I said on ACS yesterday that as I'm finalizing this audio book, I'm fucking constantly laughing. And now I've heard this book three fucking times. And if it's still making me laugh after hearing it three times, um, you're absolutely going to love it. I think this is Adam's best audio book so far. Great. Great. Nice. Congrats, man. I love it. And uh, you can pre-order that in Audible. I'm your emotional support animal. Follow Dawson at Dos Angeles. Matt, what's up with you? Well, this Sunday, my next episode of Sword and Scale is coming out. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> I'm very excited about this one. This is one that I spent longer on than any of the other episodes I've worked on. To put it into perspective, when we were all on the cruise, I was reading the book that I ended up reaching out to the author and working with the author and interviewing her to make that part of the episode. And most of these take me about 50 hours to do, and this one took well over like 120 hours. It's freaking crazy. So I'm very excited. It comes out this Sunday on the Sword and Scale feed. It's free. And uh, again, you don't hear my voice or anything, but I wrote the script and helped find all of the audio and stuff that you hear. And it's a yeah. crazy case that takes place in Canada that I don't think really anybody in the U.S. has really heard of before. So I'm uh, excited to kind of help bring that case to a U.S. audience. Bravo, job, Matt. Yes. Can, you do, yeah. can you do us a favor? Yeah. Just make sure you tweet the link. I want to listen, but I'll forget. I don't actually sure. subscribe to podcasts. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I'll, so I can uh, click it on Twitter, Twitter and listen. Yeah. Between Dawson and Kalen, we're just killing the game over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I know, I know. It's it's our livelihood. <laughs> but I listened. Uh, the only podcast I listen to is is the Adam Carolla show and this one, and I only listen when we're making it. I don't have That's time. Yeah. to listen to other podcasts you don't need I, to listen but please feel free to subscribe to all of our products so we get the extra <laughs> download that's a pretty good idea i, I should, like the I download. Should we do need that. the numbers here yes I should do that all right and uh and follow matt at matt fondelier oh yeah kaylin what's up with you uh don't worry about me i got nothing i won't no. you guys on monday Oh, Ooh. trivia night. Ooh. Trivia night. all right that's a good plug uh, 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 an appearance by mr bean himself gary all right, uh, I'm going to turn through a couple here real quick. Uh, today is Gina Grad's birthday. If you are yes. a Gina Grad, tweet Gina Grad and tell her happy birthday. She is a great person, and she deserves all the love she can get. Yep. Um, Good I call, picked, Gary. I picked out this shirt because Daves of Thunder has made a triumphant return. We are back, davesofthunder.com or anywhere you get podcasts, and the new Daves of Thunder YouTube channel. You can watch much as you can watch Water Cooler. You can also watch the newest episode of Daves of Thunder. So check that out. And finally, friend of the Adam Carolla show, Brian Koppelman's Showtime show, Billions. Yes. This Sunday, one of my favorite shows. Really? Is Coming back on Sunday. Comes back on Sunday, season five. It is the only thing that is making me uh, less sad that Westworld is ending on Sunday is that Billions is coming. And uh, so thank you to Brian for making such a great show. And uh, if you don't know who Brian is or you don't watch Billions, he is the gentleman who wrote Rounders. And I think pretty much everyone's seen that movie. So if you yeah. like that, go check out Billions. It's a hell of a product. That's it. Yeah, great writer, great follow on Twitter. The yes. first cup of great coffee, podcast. the Royale. Yeah, the Royale and a great yeah. podcast, The Moment with Brian Koppelman. It's my Royale right here. Yeah. Uh, um, you guys, Gary brought up Westworld. They're, I don't know if you guys are caught up. I'm not going to spoil anything, but definitely some hand trauma this season in Westworld that, that Is freaked it robot me, hand trauma. Freaked me the F out. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And uh, as for me, yeah, we'll just, just come out on Monday. We'll see you. I'll plug Monday too. Water cooler, trivia night slash hang. We're gonna we're gonna have a good time. Uh, invite people. Let let's all get together and during this weird time, still be able to uh, 
enjoy each other's company. So that is this Monday, 7 p.m. Pacific. Follow us on social or email us for deets. All right, that'll do it for Water Cooler. We'll see you Monday in, uh, in a virtual hang and uh, next week Wednesday. Till then, we love you. See ya. Bye. Bye.